I'm Ruthie, she, they, and I play Sentinel, she, they. I'm Will, he, him, and I play Moxie, she, her. I'm Immy, she, her, and I play Amaya, also she, her. I'm Steve, he, him, I play Aura, he, him. I'm Sarah, she, her, and I play Freya, she, her. Hi, I'm Mike, he, him, and I'm playing Eugene Ballantyne, he, him. I'm Charlie, he, him, and I'm your DM. Okay, um, helping them will take a whole day. Um, so and and you, obviously that will go through the night as well. Um, if you wanted to, can I speed up with Mendon? You can definitely use that. It's going to be a skill challenge. So, oh, cool. not a skill challenge. Uh, I'll give you guys a little bit a, a tour of the skiff, if you will. And, and Yori takes you around. He's like, uh, she's called the Wind Song. Uh, she's beautiful. Normally, I, I promise. And as he takes you around, it's a really sleek craft of pale wood. It's a bit like a, a yacht, um, but it's got quite a shallow hull, and it actually has two runners that are at the moment are buried on, in the sand. A bit like a sleigh with runners. Uh, and there are these two constructions on the side that point backwards from the middle of the, of the hull, a bit like um, secondary sails or like fins. And they're sort of tucked away like wind, like wings. Um, the sides of the of the skiff are lined with beta copper, beta copper, um, beaten copper filigree, um, which is sort of the only indulgence of design. The rest is is very much purpose built. Um, and on on board at the helm, at, with the rear to the ship, there's this this beautiful wheel um, under one of the few canvas shades. There's these small cranks and little wheels that sort of adorn this semicircular wooden dial at the side as well um, by the helm. And there's one floor below with a hatch. Um, there are two tiny rooms, one's for cargo and, and, lo- and the other's for lodging. Um, and then there's a small that leads further into the belly of the skiff, um, where they, where they would store other cargo. That um, have Cade and Enten caught up with us yet? Yeah, um, I wouldn't. They're not on board the ship, but they're um, they're standing in the shade. As you can we hear. like start getting ready to do, to like help out with this like fixing and all of this, I'm going to go over to both of them and say so either you're going to fucking help. All right, you're not getting on this ship. And if you try and get on this ship, I'll push you off it while we're moving at speed. You're going to fucking pull some, pull your goddamn weight or we're leaving you in the dust. Yeah, so you guys, so you, you, they're under, like, at the, under the bow of the ship in the shade, so I guess you walk under and just start fucking... Yeah, well, I, I like, as we get, like, I might go off to go and, like, help butcher the, the, yeah, like, the but you can take them to side, you can go side to Um, them, yeah. yeah, I'm not, I'm not having it. Roll an intimidation check. <laughs> fucking, I'm not having it, lads. That's a, not, all right. 17 plus 5. Um, Enten, the dark-skinned cleric he uh, he puts his hand he puts his hands up and he's like we will do whatever we need and Cade doesn't say anything but he looks he looks rough now he, he was always so sharply dressed his stubble is showing through and he's just a dusty mess and he's like I'll do whatever we have to when, he, when Kate gets on board, I'm going to tell him he looks a dusty mess. <laughs> <laughs> yes! He ignores you. Uh, he, 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 he basically is going to... They're sort of milling around waiting for it to be directed. But if we're going to repair the ship... Well, I do have a question, so I've got to use Yuri, isn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, Yuri, um, how badly is the uh, futhook damaged? <laughs> <laughs> It is. Is that intact? That's, that's quite a big job. I mean, it, hopefully it's still intact. Otherwise, we, we might not get moving for several weeks, I believe. You sound like you know quite a lot about ships. It's encouraging. I haven't had time to really investigate the fighter. I, I, I remember at, at the library, for some reason, there was a book where it was all about fotooks. And uh, I, yes, I picked it up and just couldn't stop reading. Well, the, the construction of these is, is obviously similar to boats, but... There is more reinforcing on the joints where the the tracks go down, so we do rely on futtock strength. <laughs> so, 
Uh, no, I mean, obviously you don't want a, a break in your thutic at all. So. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> we can carry on, right? <laughs> and with that, oh, so, God. oh Christ. Fotic me. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry for being technical. <laughs> I think it's a very valid question. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, okay. prospects are literally structural to this thing. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> we're going to get Yuri is going to he'll guide you in certain ways and I'll tell you some tasks that need doing and then you guys can individually choose a skill or you can cast a spell and that'll more or less be a, an automatic success if you use a spell you know and it applies well. Uh, the rest you guys can just use one of your skills. Um, you can't use the skill uh, more than once, and you need to pass at least three successes before you reach three failures. So he he tells you, I'll just tell you a list of things, and you guys can grab them if you like. And uh, need to pass guidance to everyone. <laughs> guidance, guidance. <laughs> you have a you guidance. Can, you have a guidance. You can, you everyone. I, I won't cast that. I won't class guidance as a successful skill challenge, but you can obviously help. With, it will obviously yeah. help with the skills. I'm going to lean oh, over everyone's shoulder yeah. as they do stuff and point them. Yes, yeah, so they're going wrong. Yeah, so Freya can't, Freya can't do anything. Freya can only go. The only backseat drive. <laughs> so he, he shows you. He shows you that they've got a store of spare. Um, planks of wood that, that they always bring with them because the place they go there's very rarely materials so there's there's wood that they can use to repair the cracks in the hull there is uh, the hull will need waxing uh, over the over the lines and the and under the rails uh, under the sort of the um, the tracks the sigils will need checking and patching where the copper lines uh, around the hull of the ship go. Uh, and Yuri tells you something about those, and he says, basically, the, the, these copper lines feed into our vapour engine that effectively allows us to travel at the speed and the lightness that we need. Um, I'm not going to be taking the engine apart, but that is something that I will need to do if we're going to travel the deep sands, but it's a big job. So at this stage, we just need to check that the sigils are okay and that the copper lines are intact. And he shows you basically the copper lines go all the way onto the runners and they like like a web over the ship. A uh, very faint copper wire spreads out over it. Um, you'll need to reconnect any of those lines and re- like remelt them. And the sail will need checking and mast needs putting back into place and reinforcing. So if you guys just pick anything from that... Do and, and also... Oh. <laughs> and also butchering the cables. Yeah, okay. That I mean, yeah, that can be done at the same time, yeah. Um, I won't make you roll for that. You, uh, I'll say that the one that Aura hit with the Chaos Bowl is fucked. <laughs> uh, no one wants that. Fair. That one's roasted. It's already it's, cooked. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's charred. It's a rotisserie casel. <laughs> You've got the one that was hit in the head by the painted. arrow, the rock. That one's in good shape. We'll say about half of them are in good shape. Um... I tell, what, if, I tell you what, though, if you if one of you wants to, or one or two of you want to butcher it, you can take yourself out of the skill challenge and do that instead. Can't we just send Cade and Lloyd to do it? You, you can. Oh. Well, we've got Cook. Cook might be quite good at it. Didn't yeah. we keep Cook? Yeah. You, oh, this bald, is also true. Balding dwarf there, scratching his chin. He's like, yeah, I can do that. Scratch <laughs> <something else. laughs> he scratches something else. He scratches nuts. Sorry, you know when you say something's itchy, it just makes it itchy. You do, uh, you, 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 do drive. <laughs> you do. You <laughs> do. You do wash your hands before uh, preparing our food, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> of course that's it's good. So right, what if we what do we need to do? <laughs> what? Yeah, he's can lying. I, I, can I, I intimidate even. anything into being back in the shape? Uh, <laughs> can I deceive the master? No. Can I deceive anything into being? Well, you got to you got to tell me what you're going to do. I was going to deceive gonna the master. It's actually upright. <laughs> my, yeah, I just use much. my mending hand trip as often as possible. So yeah, so you can you. I won't class that as a success because it's a can trip, but a leveled spell would be a, an automatic. I mean, it does say. We've taken a short rest. I mean, it's, it's only little things, but Not in yet. terms of, it does say anything I touch <laughs> will be fixed. Yeah. There's only little tears and breaks. So could uh, and Eugene, with the help of mending, sort of us do any of the metal work? So there's the copper the work. Experience. There are so as he takes you through, you see some of the copper lines have been cut um, from from small cracks in the hull. Yeah, I was, yeah, so I was going to do investigation checks or to see if to see if find breaks. Yeah, that's yeah. a great use. You yeah. Roll an investigation check. Do I get guidance? <laughs> 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 
did your ass nicely. Yeah. Can I have guidance, please? <laughs> please don't you guide me. I believe well, you no, can do Well, no, the cat can help. Yeah, you have such sharp can eyes. Can my cat help? Uh, go for it. You could send you can send him into the bowels of the ship and, and search for insides that as well. That did not help. Yeah, that cat was useless. <laughs> uh, so, what, so it was a five, and then and I knocked it over to a four. And I was trying to so it was that. a five. So nine, and then four on the guidance. Uh, so nine, then just uh, 15 for investigation. <laughs> Just succeeds. Oof. So uh, oh, Ansel goes down into the hull, and there's just too much stuff in there. You can't see. You can't see down the, where the wood is cracking. Like a bit of rope, and it's just like yeah. Gets distracted, <laughs> gets distracted by something. Um, and yeah, on the outside of the ship, you can see the in this sort of web of copper lines that come out from the vapor engine, which is in the depths of the ship. Uh, you find a few shears and a few cracks in the copper lines where the impact has split the lines. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that a success. He won't let you do it. He won't let you do it. Over here. Yeah, I'll I'll you think you can I'll mend them? Yeah, so um, I'll, I'll go over and have a look at them. Sure, okay. Um, with the mending cantrip, I'll give you advantage on fixing them then. Okay. So let's say if you're going to be melting the copper back into place and for sort of mending the cracks in the in the hull, uh, what check would you like to do? Um, that's a good question. Because if you can give me a reason that's good, I'll let you do most things that would apply. You got a corner for like. It's like well, I suppose that'd be more the sigil. Is it? These are connected to the sigils, yes. though, right? So I would. Would I be able to um, have a look at the sigils and sort of include that in a arcana yeah, check? Yeah, like an arcana check with advantage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, balls. <laughs> uh, no guidance. Well, you already rolled now. No, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just ask for it, man. Uh, Fifteen. <laughs> just succeeds. So you, you're a son of a bitch. <laughs> so you follow the you follow Mox's advice. You see the copper lines. They're very, very. They're all, so thin. These these wires. And uh, with a quick wipe of your hand and the cantrip, mending. Oh, mending. Uh, gonna get really. Um, Soft toffee and sort of stretch it, and nice. it sort of uh, welds and fixes. Yeah, and that's it. And it sort of where it just invisibly merges into this into the surface, leaving it pristine. Um, you've noticed with that Arcana check the sigils that you can see. Every now and again, there's a few along the, within the wood with the copper lines. They seem fine. They seem intact. Uh, and that is another success. So you guys only need one more success. Um, oh, back together. Yeah, so um, okay. while that's all been going on, mine has been warming up, and I would just say that you can lift better if you are warmed up. Yeah. So I, w I would yell out, uh, do some stretches, and we'll boop you on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're I not do, did you get, I do like some <laughs> dead bugs. You're not getting did advantage. You give did you give a guidance or did you just beat that? <laughs> Yeah, you're, 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 you're limbered up now, yeah, and so, you have guidance. Yeah, so I'm gonna you, like. If if you want to try and lift assist. this on your own, it's gonna be. You already know it's still gonna be difficult. Oh, I can. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Assist, but, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. So, oh, so, so, so either you both roll, or one of you roll with advantage. What do you want to do? Should you uh, both. both? You yeah. have guidance, right? <laughs> yeah, I've got guidance. So oh, if we okay, like no, guide of, me, Daddy. <laughs> so if we kind of get on like each. So if the mast is like here. <laughs> Caught it. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up lies. We got, we got the rope. Just so like going here. One, one thing I'm going to just quickly say before you set your plan up, lifting it up just with your arms and like this, gonna it's going to be incredibly difficult. Use I was going to use the rope. <laughs> so I was going to use my legs. Okay. Oh, some sort of use the ropes to... Yeah. Police system. Well, police system. Well, we're going to see a thief, basically. Do you want to do the ropes and I'll like start to like lift it and push it like... That's fine. If you both, if you're going to do that, that's fine. If you're pulling one way and I'm lifting up from the other way, yeah. Amaya just really wants to lift this map. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Amaya needs some lifting. Just and go shit. straight strength. Yes. Uh, no, you do athletics and uh, you have your guidance D4. No, not. Is it a D4? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that is going to be an 18, a 25. Okay. Nice. Very nice. You guys succeed. The DC was 20. Uh, nicely done. So, Aura is guiding it and pulling it back from the top, the rope that he's tied to the very, very top of this say, um, mast. He pulls it down with a mire, lifting from the from the from the bottom, and then walking it up, strongman style, and eventually helping it guide back into the crack that 
it fell from and it, it falls into place. And it's not actually too bad. The, the break was quite clean. There are only a few chips and chunks missing. So we're like, um, come on, my top to I have a hammer as well that I can. I have a hammer. What, so how, how you guys tell me how are you mending it? Uh, if we've got spare timber and that, use them mm-hmm. as a support. So now I've got a hammer, I'll nail yeah. sure. them into support. Yeah. Yuri will help you do that as well. Um, Before Yuri gets too into that, can I be like, Yuri, what's the worst job that we have to do? Like, what's the most, either the uh, most tedious or like, do you need the toilets cleaning or anything like that? Like, what's the worst job? Toilets, I mean, we just, you got to just go where you are. Yeah, cool. So I was just like, did you need like, Shit cleaning off the side of your of your ship. I don't know. Do you are you like a stick your butt out and just? That's a strange question. Just, how's, the, how's the poop day? <laughs> <laughs> like what just what's the, the worst like most tedious or disgusting tedious job? Tedious jobs. That you have? I mean, I would probably say checking the sail. We've got to. Hey, hey, I was gonna do that. <laughs> Sorry, you can do it with Kate if you like. No. <laughs> okay. He comes, he, he comes over and he's not happy about it. Don't shit. Help. What? Um, got a job for you. Go fix what? the sails, mate. All right, no, I'm going to help. Can I help him? Yeah. Because <laughs> if he fucks oh, it up. He was going to do a really bad effort. Can I do really my, um, are we still doing a skill challenge? Do we still need You one? need one more success. These guys Carry are just, on with that, sorry. These, these guys, I wanted to do this one as this whole thing, so okay. mending the mast. Uh <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'd say you guys have nailed it. You rolled a 20 on that skill check, that uh-huh. check so I'm not going to make you roll another 35, one. 35, actually. Yeah. You did it! <laughs> Yay! Okay. I don't care. But the sail still needs checking, so this is a job that he's going to have to do. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll look at it and point it out owing to my history with boats. Nice! <laughs> yeah, so oh, you... And when you go to help, be like, yeah, just really tell them how shit the job is. So he thinks... I'm really like... You know that way that you do where you backseat drive yeah. so well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So hey, do this one. He's, he's, he's got this, this, like, big needle and then, like, a, a huge amount of thread and he's like... And you start sticking it and you're like, no, no, you need to do this stitch. Yeah. And it's like, showing him. That's and he's like, that's not very neat. <laughs> and he just like, does that. It's really awkward because the sail's up now as well. So it's like, ah, <laughs> like, suck it, yeah. Kate. But he, he gets on with that. Um, do you guys successfully patch up the ship? Um, Yuri says, oh, it's, it's looking good, actually. Um, we'll say that as you guys finish this job and Cade starts doing the sale, the the rations have been butchered and cut. Um, the sun is setting. It's getting later now. It took the rest of the day. Uh, Yuri's like, we'll do the last few things in the morning and check her over, but she's looking good. Uh, you're welcome to stay on board if you want, but there's not really much room in our quarters. It's a tight squeeze with just the two of us. It's all right, we can camp in the... We've got tents. We can we- camp in the shade today. There's a there's a uh, one of the canvases we can put up towards the front of the ship. That's where a lot of our passengers would sleep. Did you know uh, there was a big rock, right? Yes. We can make a nice, nice little den in there. Cool. I could mould us and like cast us <laughs> <Tea cast forever. laughs> <Like, like, laughs> moat or something. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay, so yeah, you guys just after a while you bed down. I think the captain's going to stay on. Uh, Eskiel stays on the boat uh, under the canvas along with Cade and Entin. Lloyd follows you guys around with Clayton, and he's he's just like, I've never seen a <laughs> never seen a sand skiff before. Quite cool. Everyone ignores Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> hey, can I can I sleep in your tent? Yeah. Enton's yes. he it snores and yes. Clayton's uh, like pats him on the shoulder, like poor lad. <laughs> <laughs> poor boy. <sighs> when we go to sleep, I'd like to see what I wanted Zeal to do last session, but we had to go on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so you guys set up the tent. Um, we can say for the sake of brevity, you got a quick one of those um, fences up. Cooks set up a little fire. He makes some food. Uh, Amaya. Amaya, uh, Amaya's some watch, food. yeah. Uh, the smell of the onions, the spices, the meat freshly <laughs> fried. There's so much meat because it's like we need to use yeah, as much as we can now yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. while it's fresh. <laughs> and, and, it is, it's, and it's really good. He's getting, a be- he's getting better, yeah? Um, so before we start cooking, um, I'm going to make him wash his hands. <laughs> <laughs> like proper COVID style. Do you like, have soap? 
no. Because he knows hands will work. Basically, however we can, I'm going to make him wash his hands. Yeah, yeah. He, do a press hesitation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, after you... I'm going to stand over him and be like... Cut up your hands. He's been like scrubbing them in sand. He's like, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> but there, there's not dirt on them. <laughs> there are germs. You've been scratching What is a germ? <laughs> I don't want to eat it. So, and then he looks at Moxie and he's like, what? And then he like, sort of like tap, uh, give a wand up, tap my hands on him and then do a presentation. And then I uh, clean uh, his hands. So <laughs> he, he, like he, his hands become the cleanest part of his body. <laughs> <laughs> like they're, they're, they're like a shade lighter than the rest of him. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I, I just cleaned your hands, that's all. He sniffs them and like recoils. He's like, <laughs> oh yeah, they, they also smell of peppermint now. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he recoils. He's like, <laughs> Happy? Yes, now now you can come right, in my me, direction. Me, no, you fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I, stand, I stand my ground. I stand my ground and start getting stuff out and like chopping. He gives in eventually, yeah. No, you can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> he slaps like a big old steak on this pan. It's like... Start searing it off. Salt bay it. We're a serious person. <laughs> when, when the food's all finished, can I then try to like sneakily cast precipitation to make the food like taste of peppermint? <laughs> yeah, so, oh, what, what on him? What on his? No, it didn't. Uh, everyone's, food. <laughs> everyone's food. Everyone's food tastes of yeah, peppermint. Is it like a big like hot thing? Of food? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, doing. He like sears like off the meat, chucks it in the you know, big pot for a stew, starts mixing it up with some of the water you guys have fuck tons of because I didn't realize. You could cast to create water. I mean, a uh, mint sauce, my go. <laughs> it's, it's just minty, no, it's just mint. It's a minty, meaty uh, stew. When I try some, I just grim because I think I know what's happened. <laughs> Good one. I, I taste it. I go. Ah, oh, so this is something we forgot. I forgot to tell you all. <laughs> Moxie is very good at pranks, so you know. It tastes like my own smell. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's Moxie. What a delight. Hey, but it's nice oh. change from the usual shit we've been eating. Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know why you haven't been doing this. Like, oh, every time to be like, ah, tastes like chocolate. <laughs> And um, taste Maybe she has the whole time just for her own food. <laughs> <laughs> what are you sharing with me? <laughs> I'm just grinning and laughing pretty much every bite. <laughs> so welcome to Pranks with Moxie. She is obviously a lot more comfortable with all of you now. <sighs> I'm happy to take first watch with Sentinel because I'm just going to get distracted anyway and I know she likes her privacy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, so the sun sets... It gets cool once again, the desert, the the sort of embers glowing from the remains of Cook's fire. He just sits out there by it, uh, probably 30 feet away from you or so. Um, just falling asleep where he's sat. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> he likes to stay with his pots. And uh, yeah, everyone else is uh, fast asleep and you guys are sitting at the entrance of the tent. Maya, I'm going to do some shit. Cool, I'll look away. You just do what you need to do. Before I get this, like, I really, you just get me. You're, uh, yeah, I'm reading. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm holding a hand in my hand. You can like, read? She's young, she's you not completely read. dumb. <laughs> and I'm gonna go, summon, my, yeah. summon a little squirrel bud. Oh, have I got any presents for squirrel bud? You so some you, minty meat. Oh, I can give him some minty <laughs> meat. There's a little, uh, the blue dot that squirms about in the air for a moment and then like, like it just appears as this big blue squirrel. How do you feel about mint? He has these little, those glasses without any arms on them and he's the like squeezes the pen's nose, yeah. <laughs> squeezes them on his nose and he's like. Do you like mint? How long does press digitation last? Uh, an hour. It lasts for an hour. Lasts for an hour. <laughs> Smells of nothing like mint. I mean, not the mint we have in the house, anyway. Oh, okay. Maybe it's it's. No, I got a bit of meat. Do you want some meat? <laughs> I am not a dog. <laughs> but yes, I'll have it. <laughs> I there's not. I can't. Like, there's not it. much to give you out here. I can just give you like scraps. I was fine, hoping fine. it was gonna still taste of. Fine, 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 fine. I'll have oh, it. Excuse me. <laughs> do we, do we, does anyone wake up from this commotion? I mean, I'll say they're whispering, oh, okay. but also you can't hear. Also, I mean, actually, do you know what I'm going to start, I'll start doing is I'll start doing a 
<laughs> that was a nine for a stealth check. So if anyone's got like really good perception, you can want to wake up. Fine. Yeah, you can hear the sentinel. <laughs> <but> <laughs> um, when you give him the little piece and piece of me, it's like it's like you know like this, this little piece. He's like that, and he goes, he's like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's that little Britain sketch. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also, you can steal whatever you want because I've got a little job for you. Yeah. I need you to go uh, to Lieutenant Cade's stuff Mm -hmm. and have a route around and see if there's anything fun and interesting in there. And if he's got anything that you like the look of, Mm -hmm. have it. This is is Lieutenant um, Dick. Yeah, Lieutenant Dick. (laughs) Okay. What, any anything in particular that you? I just want to. I want to know what his deal is. He's a dick, and he's useless, mm-hmm. and he's an asshole. And I just either want material to blackmail him with, or I want to find out what his fucking deal is, so we can like kill him off later if we need to. Oh, blimey! Jesus, it's quite <laughs> extreme. Is this all you're going to call me out for? What well, like? This is the start of a working relationship, Zeal. What do oh. you want me to call you out for? This what is, do you want... Oh, sorry, I didn't realise that this was, like, work. Like, I, I was a colleague, you know. I thought it was, well, what do you... It's fine. Zeal, no, no, Zeal, right, fine. no. <laughs> okay, Zeal, we'll, Zeal, we're not doing this tonight. What we're going to do, <laughs> Zeal, is you're going to tell me what you want from me because I can't please you. I, For some reason, everything I do, you hate. I try and find you one, but it's not right one time. I just call you out because I'm like, hey, I want to hang out with Zeal a little bit, but I also need him to do a favour. And you're like, hey, you don't call me out enough. And then I say, well, I'll bring you out every day. And you're like, no, I don't want to come out every day. What do you want, Zeal? And I'll do it. <laughs> okay, um, all right, look. Are we like, friends? Well, I mean, I thought so, but clearly, you know, look. I didn't it, know if it, you, hate, you seem to hate me. No, this is just part of my thing, you know. I, 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 I just, <laughs> it's like with, with him in the house, I'm always there and when he calls, and it's quite nice to sort of, you know, have an argument, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> With me. Yes. Do you just like fighting? Do you just want to have a scrap? Well, we kind of are. <sighs> anyway. So how can how can I make you happier, Zeal? How can what can I do? And he like finishes off the bit of meat and he's like, No, this is fine. For now. For now. You just like open communication, Zeal. If you need something, do you want to come out more often and hang out like this and I can let you just do whatever you fucking want? Um do you want to hang out while I'm doing my watches and you can read a book and just be out in the world? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That would be nice. Just ignoring all of this. But can you also go and, like... Yeah, okay, all right, I'll do that. Just not every... I'm happy to spy on them, but, you know, I don't want to be the... This is the last time we'll do this for a good while. Okay. Does Ruthie notice that um, Amaya has just... She's still behind her back, <laughs> but she's gone like this. And it's just like... Because she can only hear... Set <laughs> no! Of the movie, right? <laughs> it wasn't that one. <laughs> just like... <laughs> I'm talking to them, just having an argument with nothing. <laughs> he, start, he walks off towards the boat... Um, and like wiping his mouth so he's like only using his back legs for a bit <laughs> like waddling and then like he moves onto his front onto his paws properly oh, oh, so off. <laughs> <laughs> while he's off to that I'm just gonna go so maybe we need a little bit of more honesty Amaya <laughs> wanna know a secret you talking to me now I call <laughs> myself <sighs> okay Amaya <laughs> Um, how familiar are you with sorcerers in general? How familiar am I with sorcerers in general? Do you know the word? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Are you uh, you proficient in arcana? (laughs) (laughs) That's hilarious. You don't know what they are. You know they're people who have magic and stuff. (laughs) They're people who have magic that maybe make magical sources? (laughs) Well, sometimes they do. So sorcerers are one of the kind of magic users that are allowed so everyone here thinks that I am a sorcerer but if anyone's smart they will like super super smart they will notice that the spells I cast are not necessarily sorcerer spells um so I'm not when when I'm having my rants and I appreciate your discretion with this because you know you just get on your reading um I'm actually talking to a small blue squirrel who is the bane of my existence. Um, He starts skittering towards you. (laughs) (laughs) 
Um, he's on his way back. That's it. I'm actually, I am actually talking to someone. I can point you in his direction so he, you can like look at him, but you won't see. There's him. nothing there. He's sleeping. <sighs> okay. He's I'm... gross. Is he gross? What? They all are. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> One second. Hold that. <laughs> you hold that thought because he's going to get pissy if Why I. Why are you talking pissed. to her? I have limited time here. Yeah, no, I'm telling her to pause so that I can talk to you. I'm just like looking in the direction she's talking and like. <sighs> why are they? Why are they gross? Well, they, he's all dusty and horrible. Oh, yeah, they are. Well, I'm all dusty and horrible. No, you're not. Oh, thanks, babes. <laughs> Does he leave footprints in the uh, I mean, you don't know. <laughs> does he look like in the stairs? Uh, he does, but they sort of fade. Oh. I'm not sure if it's like this world meeting his world in a strange Do I notice mix. that? Um, what's your passive perception? 13. No. Um, and then I'm gonna give him... I like because I, I assume it's not been like an hour yet. No, I don't know. I'm gonna I'll be like I don't have many books at the moment, but would you like to read the Dustmere Prisoner Manifest? <laughs> 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 that's the literature. I've got a book that's locked, so you can pick the lock on that. But I wasn't gonna expect you to do that. Well, I can't. But I mean, I hear it's getting rave reviews. <laughs> I'll just have a look through. You, you can. I'm just saying, you can hang out. You can go do whatever. I'm happy just sitting with you. Can, do you want to sit on me? <laughs> Is he that, looks around for a moment, like your kind of thing. You're like real tiny. That make you feel. I didn't like think that was your thing. I thought yeah, you were more. Yeah, but my thi- my thing is to make other people feel better. Okay. Do you want to sit on me? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, are, are you like so Ansel? Do you want <laughs> Don't don't stroke me. Do you don't want to <laughs> <laughs> Like you're warm, but not the. I'm not a dog. Fine, no, that's fine. I wanted to check because that's what Ansel likes. Oh god, that thing, yeah. The cat, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Good boy. Um, yeah, you oh. were saying. <laughs> <laughs> he's a squirrel. He's a tiny squirrel, baby. And he's like sat here now. <laughs> he's like, just looking around, okay. yeah. I'll keep your secret if you keep mine, and then I just turn around and continue reading. What is your secret? Yeah. I love her so much. I just ignore what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll read it. It's, uh, it's just a picture. But, uh, <laughs> He reads with you, and you know, throughout the watch, he sort of nestles in a little bit, leans on your head. Um, but he doesn't want to stroke. He doesn't no. want to be stroked. And after the, an hour passes, you know, he just sort of says, Just before enough, I'm just going to give it, just before he goes, I'm just going to give a little chinny scratch and see like, what he does. <laughs> he sort of jumps, and then he's, he's like, Oh, fuck. And then he disappears. <laughs> yes. <sighs> okay. Oh, my tiny blue boy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and you'll uh, give me some perception checks quickly. Forgot yeah, about that. Shit, that doesn't like, matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't know. It's fine. Hang on, where's it? Skills. Perception. 19 plus 1. Nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, no. Uh, Amaya's fully engrossed in her notes in a little book. Um, you see her scribbling. It's a cool, calm night. Um, the sky is clear, and you see the the. Uh, mauve colour from Geish, the dusk moon moving across the sky and your watch goes without issue. Lovely stuff. Who's, who's on the second watch? Two more to go. Yeah, we'll go. Okay. You settle down. So I uh, come over to you. Pesky twins. Is that the prank? <laughs> the prank squad. The prank squad. <laughs> squad. So I go, Moxie, the uh, other day when I walked off when you were asking about my uh, family, I, I'm sorry, that, that was rude. No, it's okay. I mean, you, do you want to talk about it now? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not now. But um, can I can I try to make it up to you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, Don't so kiss my sister. <laughs> 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 so he goes, goes into his bag and he pulls out this basically. Well, basically, it's like a jawbreaker, gold stop for type sweet. And I was like, this uh, it's, a, it's quite a recent creation I made. Um, try it. Um, you won't be able to. Talk, but in a good way. I, I, I'm, I'm not selling it, but, but just have it. You'll, you'll be fine. I promise. Put this thing in your mouth. You won't be able to talk. It's so dumb. I'll, 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 I'll have one too. If you For want. some reason, I I've, thing. Only, I've only got two. I'll have one. Like, For I, some I, reason, I'll, in I'll her sleep, the sentinel is gripping us. <laughs> 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 That sounds a bit dangerous that neither of us can talk on our watch. So. <laughs> it's only, it can go really quickly or as long as you want. I mean, try, if you try to talk, if you try to talk five God times, sake. then you'll be able to talk. 
and the sweet will finish. <laughs> or it will last as long as you want it to. I tr- trust me. Okay, yeah, I'd, I'd put it in my mouth, yeah. <laughs> so, when you put it in your mouth, you get a really strong taste of Is it um, a ball strawberry <laughs> and um, pepper. It's like a, a mix. It's, it's, it's a, probably a flavour you wouldn't have tried before, I'm assuming. Like really Maybe? quite, I don't know what really. strawberry and black pepper. Yeah, or pe- yeah, yeah. Are you, they're flavors you recognise, but probably not in that convers- yeah. combination. Yeah. yeah. How is it? I mean, do I make any? Do, do, well, it's even like, like muffled. Do you try to talk? Yeah, yeah. So instead of talking, a spray of uh, <laughs> red sort of fire comes out of your. It's not fire. But it looks like fire comes out of your mouth. <laughs> and as soon as you say that, the next flavour is pineapple and lime. Ooh. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's, oh wow, this is yeah. As soon as you say that and smile, another fire it comes out. This time, sort of orange. Does it still taste? And now it's a uh, tastes like an apple pie this time. Wow, an entire meal in one. It's a never stuff. <laughs> well, four times. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I'll, I'll and it goes through, and then that's a green fire, and the last flavour is like a, a blackberry. Ooh. Yeah. And can I, can I talk? Yeah, uh, the last one, then, that you get purple sort of flame comes out and it finishes. That was, that was really fun. <laughs> yeah, that, there you go, you can have the, you'd have to have it now, but whenever you want it, it's the same flavours. Oh, oh, thanks, Eugene. Um, so, can I see your uh, wand quickly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so soft. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just my wand. What's? <laughs> it's just my wand. Yeah. What, what does it look like? Uh, so <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god! <laughs> you guys are so out of control. <laughs> Uh, so I'm encouraging it, it's fine. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite, it's, it's about this. Wow. When does a one become a star? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's probably about a bit over uh, under t- uh, nine, nine inches or something, something like that. It's, uh, nice. it's, uh, like, it's like thin and nice. e- <laughs> It's quite thin, elegant, uh, dark, <laughs> like ebony wood as well. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's got like a sort of like a, a like a handle on it as well. It's like uh, it's, yeah, it's just like uh, I suppose uh, ergonomic. Where it's sort of just like yeah. it fits. It fits. It's yeah. not just round. It actually like yeah. it's shaped to fit fit in your hand properly. Nice. Um, yeah, there's nothing, nothing hugely fancy. Hold, hold your wand. Two hands. <laughs> um, oh my god. <laughs> I can. Uh... I can make this stronger if you want <laughs> Please stop this! <laughs> I mean, yes, definitely. Yes. Are you sure? I, I know it's you, quite. You're not you, it, you have right? to. No, no, no. I, I know you have harder. to be quite trust, trusting to give someone your wand, but. Um, <laughs> wow. I, yes, I do appreciate it, but I can make this stronger for you, and it'll. it'll you know, uh, it, there'll be more damp, you know, when you try to attack, it'll, it'll be more damaging. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yeah. Let's let's sure. Do yeah, let's do this. Cool. So I get out my alchemy book. Like, this is a uh, my alchemy book that I got at the guild. It's called a Majum. A Majum. Majum. Um, how I do my alchemy is use, use basically words to will something to, to essentially do what I want. Um, this will take all night, but I just so I open my book out and put your wand on the uh, a, a blank bit of paper, and I start sort of inscribing around it. Is there a I know it sounds silly, it's not going to work quite like this, but is there a certain word you want me to try to write into it? Uh, Put you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Something that's personal to you, maybe, I don't know. Uh, about Batista. Cool, so I, I, I write that around and um, the uh, words glow and sort of fade into the paper and you get a slight glow off the, the one or so. I think that's uh, done something to it. Um, I'll leave the book open. In fact, you can have it near you when you sleep. Uh, just just leave it all night. Don't don't touch it. Otherwise, it, it won't work. Okay. <laughs> 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 you need to touch it to work. But yeah, make, make sure you don't touch it. Otherwise, we'll have to do it again, and people might get weirded out at me stealing your wand all the time. <laughs> Oh, thanks, thanks, Eugene. That's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't have walked away. My mum and papa would have said that's very rude of me. And <laughs> no, I, that's not, not how I should do things. 
No, when you want to talk about it, if, if you ever want to talk about it, just, yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm an open book. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much, unless you want to say, say something else. I like the idea that, like, one day Eugene, just in the middle of the day, is like, can I hold your wand? And he <laughs> just punches it. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, a strap. <laughs> you can keep that up and sweet if you like. You, I say you, you don't have to have it but uh, now, uh, but if you have a fancy breathing uh, fire. <laughs> it might come in handy one day. Yeah. It's going to terrify people if they don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you can use it for one of I, I saw what you did with your prank. I, I thought that was uh, most uh, humorous. Prank squad. <laughs> you saw that. I, I thought I was quite sneaky about that. Oh, I, 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 I know how to do that spell. I've never used it for that, though. Oh, that's good time. <laughs> it's good time. I always, I, I like the idea of doing pranks, but I just, I get, I get so scared and, ah, oh, but yeah, you, you, just, you just have to push through it. And, yeah. <laughs> oh, just yeah. have to push through it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope one day you can teach me how to do that. I, I, I think I'll be able to. <laughs> you do nothing would make me happy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, we look outside. <laughs> yeah, is there anything else you wanted to do? Any spells you wanted I, to I cast? think people will start telling us <laughs> to shut up. If we... <laughs> All right. Go okay. to bed! <laughs> you guys uh, roll perception checks. That's all right. Uh, Wait, 20, but not natural. That? Uh, 10. Yeah, um, it's cool. And uh, at this point, the embers of Cook's fire are dulled and it's really quiet. And yeah, your watch goes without issue. So I move the book over to where you're sleeping. They have, well, I won't touch it. Um, it'll be a nice sight, but thank you for trusting me. No, thank you, thank you, Eugene. I, I go to bed. Okay, and the final watch. <laughs> Who's on the final watch? Yeah, I guess you guys. It's me and Aura. <laughs> okay. I need the hell kiss. We just did the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, you guys don't have to do stuff on every watch. Oh, no, it's no, just but I know, but I want to do that. To do, I started it, but I wanted to be a. Okay. It'd be weird if we didn't talk about <laughs> what happened today. Nah. It's up to you. You can start by rolling perception checks, though, if you want, before I forget. <clears throat> Not my greatest perspective. Yeah, perception check. We're gonna die. No, no. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, 13. Cool. Add some, some Spanish wow. inspiration. <laughs> yeah, uh, Aura um, may be distracted by the thoughts from the day. Um, but yeah, Freya, it seems peaceful out. Um, it's a cold point in the night now um, where the sun has been off the sands for a while and there's no more heat coming up from the sands. Uh, yeah, and uh, it, it's peaceful. It doesn't seem like there's anything going on out there right now. You okay? Not too bad. Um, wasn't expecting that. But it was a lot to take in. Yeah, uh, even after all this time, I'm still trying to work it all out. Mm. <laughs> I was thinking about the book, though. The stones. The one about the coal stones. What do you think of fragments of long dead titans? What are they? How do I know? <laughs> Roll a history check. 14? I mean... When it comes to the fragments of, uh, of titans, nothing comes to mind, but... I think past what you guys learned from the book, nothing comes to mind immediately. I think with the book, the book told you, I did I send you the notes for that, everyone? For what? For the, the book about coil stones. So. No, no, but I have some. Yeah, I've got some stuff. Um, the Stones of a Little Life and a Little Death. Yes, that book. Would you like me to read the notes? Because you did. The I've, got, I've got them here, but I just wondered if you'd read them out to everyone. I hadn't. Okay. I don't think we had time. Okay. Would you have would you have though in the in the time? Um So we've been traveling like four Like a days. week. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, since I read them, yeah, then probably one night I probably would have done. Um 
Yeah, so Fragments of Long Dead Titans is something that you read in the book. Um, I would say past the fact that where it says coil stones corrupt their arcane frames is the words that they used. It reminds you a little bit of some of some your knowledge in shard work and the fact that they over time they they sort of they get unreliable. Um, a bit like the analyst it because has become unreliable in a way. Yeah. Um, but that's all that comes to mind when he talks about the stones of a little life and a little death. The fragments of long dead titans could be a fairy story. I'm not sure. It's not something I'm familiar with from the chorus. Yeah, they talked about the core stones in the hunt and that's why we're here. But we know people before were looking for sort of the remains of the children of the gods. Maybe they were the titans? <laughs> Surely the Titans I don't, I don't know <laughs> They didn't teach that stuff at the chorus It's all about the the gods nothing of their predecessors or anyone beyond Juness truly really. Yeah, and, and on that you would, it, what he says is sort of like, you're all taught that the that the ones above created all, inclu- in, including people, right? And then they were handed over to the shining servants to sort of caretake and look after the people and the world. So to, to suggest that, 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 that there are other children's or that, that you're not tr- children's of the gods is sort of like in the eyes of the church would be sinful and sacrilegious. I wonder if you could read this. I'm just going to take the ring off. And hold it out. I'm not sure if I'm ready to know just yet. I'm going to just pass the ring over. And you see so it's faded and battered, but there's an inscription um, on the inside of the ring. In a language I don't understand. Oh. Mm. Uh, what languages can you both speak? Sorry, just to remind me. Um, already be. Hang on. Celestial, common, dwarfish, elvish. Uh, not Sylvan. The um. Oh, the other one. Yeah. Uh, the um, silent. Oh, silent refrain. Yep. Uh, celestial, common, and deep speech. Um. Yeah. Mm, neither of you can read this. Unfortunately. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> useless. That's <laughs> fine. I'll I'll see what I can tell you all the right time. Yeah, uh, roll a straight intelligence check. You both can, because you haven't taken it off for a while. <laughs> Two. Nine. Oh, I've got to know this one. Jesus. Uh, you're the nine that you rolled, Aura, and handing it over and asking, and you take it back after Freya says that she doesn't read that language, and she's not sure even what language it is. Just for a moment where it catches the faint light from the dusk moon, it looks similar to the, to the script that you've seen in some of these places, some of the old, old tombs where they have spoken in an, in an old language that you don't understand. While we're, while we're sitting there, can I um, be like, because <laughs> I'm absolutely listening to him, mm-hmm. not really. <laughs> That's why the conversation's so dead. <laughs> uh, can I do a detect magic ritual mm-hmm. while, we're, while we're sitting there? Um, and I just want to sense everything on aura. <laughs> okay. Um... And like, maybe from inside the tent, as well okay. as other people. So, what do you, inside the tent, you detect magic from uh, a lot of things that Eugene is carrying. I'm not sure how many things that you've got that are... Crossbow. Yeah, would cast as magic. Now probably kind of the wand. Mm-hmm. And on the book. The, uh, the book. Definitely. The book would have a glow of magic to it. And some of the sweets. 
And there's an they just I mean you could pick them out individually and decide what colour they are. Like, yeah. some strong stuff. Probably the, the book would be the strongest. Yes. Uh, and the crossbow. Yeah. And then from Aura, uh, his compass glows. From Amaya, her sword in its sheath. Um, Sentinel, I think that's the same, is it, for you? Hmm? Your rapier? Is it a plus one rapier? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, no, that's right, I remember now. No, uh, and then Moxie's wand on the book. Um, any, any, oh, and the scroll that Moxie carries, as well as the lockpick on Aura. I've got the coil stone of the shard as well. That glows brightly of, uh, of divination. The lockpick in Aura that Aura is carrying, that he found in Aranar's tomb. There's a scroll that you're carrying that's, that glows with magic, or Moxie. Um, was that the, was that the your scroll necklace glows? No, I didn't. Was that the scroll? No, no, did, he, did he? He didn't give it to me. Yeah, I thought. Oh, I, sh- I did show it to Moxie, yeah. but I don't. Oh, know. I thought you'd given it to her. So yeah. if Aura has the scroll, they both that glows with magic. What type of magic? Uh, that is <laughs> divination. Yeah, it's divination. Okay. Yes. My necklace also glows. <laughs> Is that much is that? Uh, yeah, if you're casting it into the tent, I think that would be conjuration, probably. Mm-hmm. So yeah, mm-hmm. quite a lot. Magical guys, <laughs> but that's the only thing that's like on Aura. Is that there's nothing like on his the compass. Person. Mm. He's not magical. No. Okay. At least you can't detect any. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of the marks? Uh, what are they? Well, they're annoying. Wait, can I? Uh, have, I had, uh, have I had a full sleep? Uh, you would have, yeah, because you guys will your watch will carry on into the morning. Um, you did perception checks already, right? So we should get a full rest. Yeah, you guys can mark off your full rests. We'll carry on into the morning in a moment then. Can I? Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I can ritual do it. Cool. Yeah. Can I? Detect poison and disease. Sure. Do you need any? Any? Is there Anywhere any materials around. to that? <laughs> any components to that? Or oh, I need a, a yew leaf. Anything with any value, though. No. Then that's fine. So you've got the components on you. Um, you pull out the leaf and you, you go through the ritual. Detect uh, disease and poison, or poison and disease. Poison and disease. Mm. I want to see if the mask is poison. Why, why, did, why did you have to? Like, did it matter if it was disease and poison, or did it have to? No, be no, no I was just checking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, would, can you read out the description for me, just in case something comes up? For the duration, which is ten minutes, you can sense the presence and location of poisons, poisonous creatures, and diseases within thirty feet. You also identify the kind of poison, poisonous creature, or disease. Can penetrate most barriers, but it's blocked by st- one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, one a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. No, he seems. I mean, that spell doesn't show up any any marks. Okay. Um, he seems seems healthy. I don't know. It must be some kind of curse. Have I dealt with anything like curses? Yeah. Did that make you roll Arcana? No. no. Roll Arcana check. Use a different dice. <laughs> Do you want to borrow one of my many? Mm-hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Nine. Uh, it's possible, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, from what he said about the edge and his recollection of events, that something either struck him from the edge or it's an a, a wound that he he relates to the edge in some way. It's possible. It's a very mysterious thing. Um, the edge so and if the parasites and the things he talks about that come from it are true maybe it could be a curse but what about the marks on our heads uh, oh oh very good point that would all of you would have it would showed up as poison yeah so <laughs> very, sorry <laughs> sorry I was I completely forgot about that it's my fault cool those all, guys we're free those all I come mean, up I as can, poison I can literally oh, if she says that I'm gonna reach out I go oh but you want, one thing that you, you guys would know is that um, the, they're like guarantees, right? So if you come back and you haven't, and if you come back and your mark has been removed, then they would question you probably. Yeah. Just fell off one yeah, day. I will, <laughs> I will uh, not use lay on hands to cure that then. For the moment. Oh, well, we know we can. Yeah. In theory. It takes a day for each person to 
we can get rid of them if we need to. And uh, and with that realization, um, Yori, you see him. He's up on the ship. He's waking up a few people on the deck. Um, the the dawn moon is lighting. Uh, Juness lights the dunes, and he starts sort of hurrying people up. He's like, "Come on, let's get going. I want to spend a whole day traveling." Sweet, cool. Okay, and for the sake of a. Uh, Oh, you've been using your D3. I haven't. I just found it. Nice. It's come back. Not again. <laughs> so, you guys successfully patched up the skiff. You gather all your belongings up. You pack up. You head onto the skiff. And oh, very skiff quickly, and I'll just, um, when we wake up, I'll pick up the, the finished wand. Here you go. It should be It should be fine. You'll need to um, sleep. Um, next time you, uh, you have a sleep, just um, keep it on you and... Uh, the next morning it should be ready to work. Cool. And you see there's some little etchings at the <clears> base <throat> with some little uh, sigils there. But apart from that, it looks exactly the same. It's a plus one. one. I'll have to, I'll have to it's a mechanic. It's a tune. I'll have to attune to it. You have to attune, but it's plus one and you ignore half cover. Nice. <laughs> That's nice. Fucking hell. As, um, <laughs> mm-hmm. As we're kind of getting onto the ship, I kind of want to pull Moxie back like just a little bit and I'm just going to be like, hey, hey, I see something cool? Ways, yeah. Um, and I'm gonna really quickly like ca- turn into Cade and do like a little moo moo and then turn back into myself. <laughs> <laughs> like just kind of like kind of like half in it. Just do be I like, see it? Whoop. I don't know. It depends if she's doing it stealthily or not. You doing it stealthily? I'm, ca- I'm not doing it so that Cade can see, <laughs> but anyone else can see if they want. It was just kind of a little joke for Moxie. I mean, he's on the ship, so. Uh, I'll roll a roll a stealth and a perception check. Oh, fucking Jesus! <laughs> Hang on. Can I help? With, can Hang I, on. Can I stand in between. My prank. <laughs> ah, it's changing, on the floor. It doesn't care. If you're changing your whole form, then yeah, he's he's gonna. He have notices. A chance. <laughs> what did you roll? Natural one. Yeah, uh, you, you turn around after casting it, and you you see him very like gravely looking in your direction and he just looks away and gets on packing up can you do me oh yeah then i turn into a boy <laughs> <laughs> oh do you know what bison because i can stay turned as a boy so i'm just gonna stay as a boy i'm just really upset that this team of mine is around <laughs> i'm like let's go piss some people off <laughs> yeah. yuri comes over and he's like looks between the two of you the same he's like i'm a maya no i'm a maya <laughs> No, I'm a Maya. Right. Well, <laughs> that, that's that's great. Um, <laughs> where are we going exactly? <laughs> if I prepared. Um, I can. I'm gonna drop that. And like, where storm. are we going? Towards the storm. Oh no, yeah. I didn't. I didn't prepare it. I, I heard you. I think it was your cleric uh, points over at Freya mentioned it. But are you, really? Yep. Apparently. Yep. Uh, the signs tell us to go. Unfortunately, uh, so obviously, is. we're not going to pressure you into going further than you feel comfortable, but as close as you can get us. No, uh, I mean it's not it's not that far, but um, and I guess if she fails on route, we can take shelter in the crag more. But we won't we won't be able to go into the storm. It's too risky. That's fine. Um, this storm itself has been building for some years now. It appears to come and go from afar, but in truth, it. It never really stops. It just waxes and wanes. Um, when we arrive there, on the edge of it, we'll need to fix her properly if yep. we're to get back. Um, a few of your hands would be wonderful to have on side. Otherwise, we'd love to, uh, and we can wait for you. But I mean, how long are you going to be? Uh, did you? Did, how are you getting back? Are you? These this are great been questions. These are really great questions, Yuri. And that's it. <laughs> Do you plan on deserting or going going back? We don't know. See what I'm going to find over there. Okay, well, let's talk when we arrive. Uh, hopefully, she holds and he sort of slaps the the rail the rails. Okay, uh, I'll probably need your help. I'll take the helm, but Tim's in no uh, shape to to sail. So, any any help would be wonderful. I'll Sweet. Do survival oh, yeah. like we have been doing when we've been travelling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you take go up with um, your Yuri, that Yuri yeah. towards the helm, um, you've uh, Eugene still has the compass. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yuri seems just more than confident there. He's like, well, we're heading over there. The dunes, we can run along the edge of the crag more southwest. And he just like blurs off a load of, of locations. Like this guy knows the desert. Um, so you can roll with advantage. Survival. Uh, dirty 20. Nice. <laughs> and he'll also need someone helping uh, two people moving the sails. I do that. What? What kind of check would that be? It's going to be athletics. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's going to be, he tells you, it's going to be hard work. Tin's been doing this a long time. I got it. And she, she sort of looks over the two of you, looks you up and down. <laughs> Sort of nods. I did not say I was gonna help, <laughs> <laughs> but I can, I guess, with my no modifier to us. She, no, she's not a buyer anymore. Oh right, I see. Sorry. Oh I, yeah, I, I dropped. I yeah, dropped, dropped it when we were so, talking about. So who's helping Amaya with the sales? I can if no one else I can wants help. to. I'll try and help. I'm going for a metal D20. I feel like this is okay. probably not so, right. Can I guide myself? Is that the yes? Yeah. Yeah. Guide yourself, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself a little pet talk. Love this. Give yourself a butt pat. Uh, Yuri, while you guys are, are prepping, Yuri t- and Tin offer you rope lines that are attached to the base of the mast. Uh, tie these to your belts, um, and they, they show you a special knot. It's tight, but it's quick to untie in a pinch. Uh, don't worry, though, it's just a precaution. Um, and 20, not natural. Nice. 11. <laughs> okay, together that's fine. Uh, so you begin moving the, you begin moving, it's half, it's sort of half, not brute force, there's a sort of dexterity to it as well. You've got to try and move the sails to, in line with the wind, for, you know, Sea of Thieves style. Uh, and even though the skiff's damaged and finally it starts shifting in the sand, this hissing of sand on the, on the, uh, the guide rails, it's damaged, but it's shockingly fast for you compared to the the few weeks that you've been trekking on foot. Um, Yori is at the helm. Uh, he he takes you uh, like uh, up and down these dunes at the edge of the Cragmore. The on your left, the Cragmore moves past like a forest of rocks shifting. They, they appear even more like thick, branchless trees um, as you move past. Uh, and as he hits the top of one dune and it rocks, tilts down, and it sl- slips down the other side and it's accelerating until it reaches the bottom where you feel yourselves gently pressed down into the deck as it climbs up the next. The sail billowing taut. And with each descent and ascent, the skiff gets faster and faster. And over the wind, uh, Yuri calls out to Tin. Tin, do you think she can skim? A couple lines were good. Let's give her a go. And Tim sort of nods. Uh, you guys roll con- uh, constitution checks for me, please. <laughs> cool. Can I grab myself again? Yeah, sure. You can add your proficiency if you like. A con- constitution checks, a constitution modifier plus proficiency. Uh, I still don't understand the proficiency bit. So you just add two. two. Oh, okay. Uh, 19 I think nice 20 very nice so yeah you guys are fine it's manual work but you know you've, you've, you've been working hard over the last few weeks as is you're in good shape I've always been in good shape yeah you're you, yeah <laughs> triangle the, the sail like, triangle you know, the you, sail did you moving up before this yes <laughs> <laughs> mine um, takes warming up very seriously <laughs> and uh, after shouting to Tin He's like, yeah, let's give it a go. And you, as you ascend the next dune, he cranks one of the small wheels at the helm. It's tucked away, and these tucked away secondary sails at the side that were like fins, they start rising from each side, like like literally two shark fins at the side of the boat. And you crest the next dune, your stomachs churn, and then as you speed down the other side, you hear the whine of something. And Eugene would know that's the sound of the vapor engine switching on for the first time. Um, Yuri turns another wheel, pulls a lever, you hit the bottom, the next dune rises ahead of you, the engine winding turns into a baity thrum, and instead of slowing up as you ascend the next dune, you're shunted backwards, too fast, and Yuri's like, hold on everyone! As you shoot up the side of the next dune, the two sails <laughs> fall away, down out of out of sight. Now pointing, sorry, directly from directly up, they fall out of sight. There's a loud clunking of wood, a rush of wind as you hit the top of the next dune, and you ready yourselves for the the big turn of the stomach, but it doesn't come, and you don't fall down. And you, for a moment, you're just sort of drifting. Are we soaring? What do you do? Flying. 
you guys are on the deck. I want to let, get to the side of the boat and I want to let down. Yeah. yeah. So as you as you move towards, you hear uh, Yuri laughing. Just, there she is. Don't look frightened. And as you look over the edge, you see you're like 50 feet above the sand. Um, and uh, the two sails, you look down, you can see one of the sails at the side has locked into place and it's like, it's billowing, it's a, it's a sort of wing that's now extending out the side. And with Yuri's adjustments on the small wheels, you hear it sort of tilting ever so slightly in the air. And then the whirl tilts forward as you move down and the engine winds again as you, you, you fall through the air. And then the sand approach is closer and closer and almost like a wave over sand. You hear, the, you hear the hissing before you feel the ground as he seamlessly lands on the next dune. You hit the bottom, you're pressed into the ground and then he takes off again at the next dune. So cool. <laughs> I'm, Eugene I, <laughs> after it starts, like after it starts getting really fun, um, because it's the next day, can I pop seal out? You can, yeah, I think it's one today, this right? This one's a day, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to, like, catch him and be like, and, like, put him, like, be like, hold on. <laughs> like, yeah, this like, is going to be oh, fun. This is, uh, we've, uh, it's only been a, oh my good God, what is happening? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but only you can hear it. It's just this loud squirrel. <laughs> He's just gripping onto your top. Yeah. I want to grip on the side and like stick my head on the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really windy up here. Like you know, good. You're sort of. He's not taking you higher than about fifty feet, but you seem to really linger in the air, and you can see those big wings on the side that billow out like sails with frames holding them together. Um, and when you're rising, it's you can hear the whine of the vapor engine that's doing something to the boat that's letting it that's letting it float and skim the tops of these dunes. This is not a boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hoverboat. Hover boat. And yeah, as you guys enjoy the ride, it the skiff eats the distance between you and the dry storm. Uh, <laughs> and w- within a couple of hours, uh, the dry storm uh, just seems to swell with each time you look up. It's closer and closer. And the true vast the vastness of it is is really breathtaking it's so much higher um than it looked and i think that's you realize that's why you could see it so so far away because it extends so high into the sky um and as you get closer you see more detail that sand and dust is spooling up from the air like thread above the desert spiraling up into towering beige columns and then up in the sky is bruised with gray purple and it all undulates like white water um, up and beyond sight and at the occasional uh, illumination blooms inside with this deep ripping of eerie slow thunder as you approach you hear it for the first few times and Tiori brings the skiff to a, a hissing slide as you uh, stop towards the edge of the forest of craggy rocks. Um, it's much sparser here. There are, there are less big cliffs and more of these thinner columns. Um, he takes you towards the shelter of a big outcrop uh, that leans over like a triangular archway and he parks up there, t- pulls down the sail. You guys help pull the sail up, tie it away. This is uh, as far as we can take her without risking more damage. But we'll wait. Um, you got enough food and water? I think so. We've got the the meat from the Kazels that you guys butchered. Um, I don't know who you want to leave with us, but we really need the extra hands if we're going to do proper repairs. You have uh, Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd's like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shame that what I a, cannot a, come with you. <laughs> what, a, what about them? Then he's like pointing to Entin, and so you've got Entin and um, Cook and Cade. They're all sort of at the back. They're like been looking off at the side. Um, well, Entin, we need to keep Entin safe. Yeah. He's not going to be happy coming with us. Entin can stay. Cook can stay because he's going to be fucking useless. I feel like we need to bring Cade with us. Cause he's yeah, a I don't trust him on the I don't trust him, could, him on his own. Yeah, he could sabotage it. But then again, I don't trust him with us. Can we just kill him? No, I don't say any of that out loud. <laughs> we can just accidentally lose him somewhere. Fine. <laughs> Things happen. <laughs> <laughs> so should we leave? Should we leave Cook and just Cook and Entin? Yeah. Uh, and Lloyd. Eskiel comes over and he's like, "Look, um, I'm happy to sort of go with what you think, but uh, 
I'm not happy having Cade with us, but at the same time, I'm not happy bring, leaving him here, so it's a bit of a tough one. The only thing I will say is I think we need Clayton to stay here. Yeah. yeah He's sure. a strong fighter. Sure. And Clayton's like, he sort of nods at that. Uh, Sorry I haven't got to come any on, uh, on any adventures where there's Clayton. <sighs> oh, God, what accent did he have? Australian. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I'm happy staying here. I look after this bunch of cunts. <laughs> yeah! Do you want to do, you want do, want to do that line again? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He's Australian. <laughs> oh, Not that here, that <laughs> do you want do you want um, your best buddy Lloyd to stay with you or do you want him to come with us? Oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he can stay. And he slaps him on the head and Lloyd's like oh! <laughs> Yeah, no, you can stay. Sorry, Lloyd, we'll bring you back a present. Truth be told, I don't trust uh He's, he's gonna he's gonna fucking die if he goes with you. Yeah, that's true. And Lloyd's like he, he thinks about fighting it, and he's like, fine. I thought he was really brave at the beginning of this campaign. No, he wasn't. He, was. he, was. he ran he away. Was. He ran off. No, he ran and fought into he danger. Ran into danger. <laughs> yeah. You see, he, he definitely didn't seems, realize what he was doing. I think after that, you've all noticed that he's definitely like seemed a little bit uh, out of his depth now. Aww. Bless him. Before we get off, I want to go up to um, Yuri and Tane by the shoulders and be like, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> he laughs and he's Thank like, Thank you. Well, get back um, it, not too long and we'll, we'll show you how she actually flies. <gasps> Sick. Yeah, we'll be back. Oh, yes. We will be back. We can't right. be messing around like that on the deep side. I want to make Char- sure Charlie makes us bring us back. Can we make a map? Who? Do you have a Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that one. So we know where the boat is. <laughs> Um, before before we go, do I know where Embrim was last? Um, he uh, when you left, and uh, he left before you, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think we kept in contact um, as much as we could, really. In the last few days of, of that, he would have told you that, like, even though he was going out on an excursion, he planned to come back. So any letters still yeah. sent to Vortha. Yeah. Um, and I imagine that like. that time that you were, he you would have been sending them to Vortha. Yeah. Um, and he responded sparsely. Um, the last message that you got before you came out into the desert. Um, was it would have probably been that that there were they had big plans in Vortha and that he expected he was going to be going on a long excursion and that he would send word where um, before he leaves but you you left before that letter yeah um, in that case I'll take out a note scribble from the form give it to Yuri if we don't come out of here um, could you take this to Vortha for me. And it's uh, addressed to Emberin, and essentially it just says something's not right. We're in we're in the desert now. I'll try to get to Vortha, um, but if not, meet me in Dustmere. Okay. Uh, he takes it. He nods. He's like, hmm. didn't didn't take you for an edge watcher, but and I see it now. It's been a while. Are we taking Cade or are we not taking Cade? I think we take Cade. I think we take Cade. Yeah. Uh, all those in favour of taking Cade raise their hands. Yeah. Reluctantly so, yes. Yeah. Right, okay. So. Cade's coming with us. Keep your enemies close. Eskiel's like, oh, fuck's sake. I'm sorry, I mean, he's definitely going to stab me, but that's fine. All right. <laughs> well, then I'll stab him. Thanks, babe. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, so you guys make your way off the skiff down into the the forest. There's more sparse forest of rocks. This part of the Cragmore. Um, you know this is this is going to be difficult. You don't know exactly where this place is that you're looking for. Your only real guidance is that your knowledge of the, that it's in the storm somewhere. Um, so what are you guys going to do? The storm is massive beyond. It's it's How not it's it's it? not hugely wide. It's much taller than it is wide. It's probably only a handful of miles across. Um, but um, at the moment, you have a map that that's very large scale. It's, you're off the edge of it. Um, the other things you have are um, like I mean, I'm not going to remind you guys. It's up to you. You've, you've you've collected some things that could help you. But what are you what are you going to do? We've got the compass, which is going to fucking hate the storm. But hopefully, mm. if we get to 
past a bit of it, it will be able yeah, to Yeah, I'll just open somewhere. it and just, I know what it's going to be doing, but I'll just open up the compass. Yeah. I mean, as expected, it's it's pointing in a direction towards the centre of the storm. Um, like, because you guys are, sta- are stood at the edge and it is huge, um, but it's pointing just straight into it and it is very much like, it's, you know, going nuts. Yeah. And we've got the all the drawings and stuff. I'm looking for a huge You have a painting, the drawer. You, uh, you made the drawing of the first vellum sketch. You have a painting that you found at Aranar's. You have... Um, what else do you have? I'm you, not going to tell you what you've got, but I'm going to tell you... A skills you map. <laughs> well, I'm just reminding you guys, because it's been a couple of weeks. When we get a bit further in, I could try and make another map. Probably um, helpful. There's no point here if it's a mile, mile around us we get a mile back there. I think we're just going to have to try and get as far through this as we can, try and get to some form of eye, and then see where we are. So is it like a sandstorm? Yes, but very high up, and it's sort of mixing with what looks like clouds. Right, so we could walk into it without... Yes, there's no... Dying. I see what you mean. There's no sand, <laughs> yeah. There's no actual whipping up of sand that you can see. It looks, it looks more blind. like yeah. It looks more like this. There's a normal storm front up top with sand in it. There's no there's no actual sand mixing underneath it yet at the moment. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, I should probably ask this a very long time ago, like maybe at the very first session. These storms that are here, are there any similarities between these storms and the storms that I'm used to? That's a very good question. Though. You did ask that. Yes, but you've never been this close. So roll a. I mean, it's your own history. It is my own history. <laughs> Apparently, I rolled it anyway. <laughs> oh, I that on the floor. What would that be? Is it? Yeah. I mean, you're rec- you're it's remembering stuff, right? Yeah. No, but you, you honestly, I'm not going to make you roll for this. You've seen you right. you saw the storms every year. Yeah. These up close, there's a similarity to the way that the light, whenever the light in this blooms, and there's this strange sort of tearing thunder. The slow, like it's so much slower other, than normal what, thunder. What, what when were the other similarities? Well, that light when it lights it up, it's, so it lightning. reminds you of the aurora that comes with the storm. Okay. So, what are you guys doing? Are you gonna just move into the? You tell me. Eskiel is uh, happy to take your lead. He holds out the map and he's like, "Oh, it's a bit small." Points of the rough area of where he thinks you are. Mm-hmm. Where are we going? It was like lead. in the centre, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So let's head into a storm. Okay, I'll lead with um, use my survival. Okay, if you guys are just going to follow the compass and oh my roll, I'm going to make you. So sp- allocate someone to roll survival, yeah. and then roll with disadvantage. Because you guys have basically got a messed up compass <laughs> and a dream that Freya had at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a compass yeah. and a Do dream. Do we have guidance? <laughs> I can remind you, but you have got a like, couple of things that you could... All right, all right, let's, let's have a look. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a wild hold, hold up, hold up. Do we have any root juice? <laughs> no, I just wrote root juice down. <laughs> Will the dust made prisoner log help? <laughs> I don't know who's carrying Always it. Always helpful. I mean, do you want me to remind you of the scroll? Can you identify that scroll again? Um, no one's asked me to, but yeah. I will. Please identify the scroll. Oh, yeah. no. I'll, I'll give you the scroll. <laughs> I'll say you guys are still on the boat at this point, you're gathering your bits. Yeah. Do you want me that's to a ritual, uh, I, right? I, can, yeah. I almost uh, don't like uh, casting identify. It seems like cheating, but in this case, I think it's quite important that we do. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I, I ritual cast identify, so I open up my book. I smear some of uh, uh, the syrup onto my uh, lenses of the goggles, open up my uh, alchemy book, place the scroll on top of one of the pages and start writing underneath and the lens of my goggles sort of almost sort of shines with that sort of syrup and sort of not places a light on top of the book but sort of just glows a little bit and I take 10 minutes to cast identify. Okay, uh, do you want me to, because t- I, I haven't set up my D&D Beyond to send stuff yet, so do you want me to just tell you what it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. And I'll text whoever ruins it if it's still Steve. This is a scroll of speak with furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, 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 oh,
Could you talk about what qualifies as furniture? Okay, so it says you touch any piece of furniture and you can ask it up to five questions. It cannot answer it can answer basic questions about its origin, history, past owners, etc. Unless the object is already sentient. It can't Let's ask the boat. Or the boat. The boat is not furniture. <laughs> the boat is a fucking You can sit on the compass and then it's furniture. It's the biggest furniture. <laughs> It's the idol it's furniture. Not, it's not furniture. It's furniture is a, an item that you decorate your house with, you sit on it, and it has some sort of useful. <laughs> so we've got to talk I'm not about <laughs> Find furniture. <that> is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I'd have to fucking write what furniture was. <laughs> I, mean, I don't have anything else that's useful. Um, oh, wait, I've got this deck chair I've been carrying for three weeks. When I understand the sort of knowledge of the scroll, I just sort of giggle a bit. Um, well, this will let you communicate with. Well, furniture. That's literally it's a speech to furniture scroll. Um, You're so about. pleased with yourself. I'm sorry. It, I didn't, yeah. He's so pleased with himself. Look at that fucking smug face. I'm sure we can find uh, some creative use for this, but I don't see how that's going to help us walking into that. No. Oh, <laughs> Just start walking. Right, you, you, no, like, what, right, what have we got? What have we got? Because it's going to drive me mad. You guys have a, you have a painting. I said the painting! Uh, did you? Yeah! Well, you, I mean, well, yeah, you've got a painting oh, of... Oh, can we get the painting out and compare? Well, yeah, compare with the crafts! <laughs> okay, that's... That I might get a fold-up chair, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the chair questions. <laughs> <laughs> we said we were gonna, like, we had the painting and the drawing, so yeah, let's compare and contrast. Oh, we didn't hear that, I thought you were just talking about the drawing. <laughs> so, yeah, you... No, well, then you said the painting as well, and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, that's fine then. The Definitely. art! Can I compare the, 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 the painting to what I remember from my dream as well? Mm-hmm. Like, is it the exact same or are there differences? Um, it is, let me, let me, uh, let me double check. Oh no. Oh no. Oh what? Oh what's oh no? No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> so it's, I'm not oh, allowed to say it on here. By the way, because Matt okay. was using my notes the other day, I do actually have on my notes a heist idea for Ruthie. Oh yeah. That I can send you. No, he's already sent oh, yeah, it to yeah, me. Oh, right, okay, cool. Um, so, it's a roll, it's the edges were cut. Um, the actual painting, it's the, of the painting, the, the canvas. It's the, the great archway. It looks the same as you remember mm-hmm. in your dream. Um, it's made of glass, covered in those niches, holding figurines. Um, before it is a stone circle, and there's some stone chairs there. Uh, one in the cent- with one in the centre. I was still asking her. There is... <laughs> um, all of it's made of carved rock. Um, and above the archway roils a storm of dark cloud. There's a dark circle in the centre. There's whipping sand. Uh, there's a white crack of lightning in the sky. If you're looking at the painting... So who, her, who owns the painting? Who's carrying it? I don't know. I think it was Amaya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Okay. Basically, you and someone else, or just you, can yeah. roll an investigation check to sort okay, of take a look I, at it. Like, look at the horizon, see if I can like see. Yeah, an roll. Archway, like in distance. Okay, roll an investigation check on the, on both things. One so or you two. Write, just one. Just one. Hmm. Am I rolling? You can if you want. It depends if you're. Nobody's holding it. You can roll it as well. Fifteen. Nine. A 14, you see next to the archway is a circular, a perfectly spherical rock jutting out from a dune. Mm. Uh, and it's it's noticeable enough. It, it just looks odd. Um, possibly a landmark of some sort in the painting. Yeah. And the, where the sun is. There's a sun in the painting. There's no sun. In, but the, the, if you're looking at the... At the the weather, there is a swirling to the to the clouds, it, it, like a, a, a dark patch in the middle that could mean. With the fourteen, it looks like it might be the the center, possibly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get to the middle then. Just keep going. So we'll Is no, but are we looking for that circle landmark yeah. rock? We're yeah. And the yeah, and we look for the, the, the like, what looks like the eye of the storm. Above us, mm-hmm. and okay. sort of guide by that. Or do well. we need to go around the outside to find? Will it be safer to go around the outside to look for the circular stone as the landmark, and then go from there? So that the land, like that circle, is in the right place. 
mm. rather than like trying to fight through a storm will that be a safer option yes in the painting it looks like the sphere is in the storm right, still okay. so it still looks like it's within it yeah I mean it's hard to explain I mean, how, how far so. can we see into the storm a few miles okay. okay can we see sort of in the sky sort of anything that might be this dark eye of the storm in there roll a survival check just flat just straight no. oh yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> more than one of you can as well or oh, someone else can or some of okay. you or you can basically two, two two of you can or he can no, roll with advantage right. do you want to roll with advantage I point, I point, yeah. it, I point okay. out the thing I'm like okay. maybe look for that <laughs> Uh, not the best, 17. Okay. More than 9 and a 10. So, yeah. How, uh, so first of all, as you start moving through the Cragmore, it seems, uh, like I said, sparser. It takes on uh, new shadows in the storm than it did before. Um, and you move in the direction perpendicular to the swirling of the storm. So you imagine now that if it's moving in a, in a, like this in a circle, if you move perpendicular to the movement of the clouds, then that should be the middle, right? And you take that knowledge and you just you run with it, you use the compass at your side. Um, okay. Into the thick of it! Ancient dragon. Oh fuck yeah, you know it is. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> yeah, it <is. laughs> it it fine. You you move through, um, and it, it just it, the storm looms above you. This huge mixing of sand and cloud, uh, and now you're really underneath it. it. It sort of looks a bit like white, yeah, like white water. You're looking up onto white water, and the sparse the the crag wall becomes even sparser less cloistered fewer thick shattered planes and less chasms to get lost in um you've moved deeper into the storm so i'm going to get you to roll another survival check it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be aura it can be helped as well i can help okay or we could do it yeah both yeah. of you guys Okay, roll a survival check, please. Are you going to guide anyone? Yeah, I'll guide Amaya, because she looks nervous. And I say, it's going to be okay. Let's <laughs> pray her. See you guys. Oh, that's fun. 18. 13. Very nice. Okay, as you move, as you move, <laughs> well, the 18 and the 13 together is, is meets the DC, just. As you move through... Well, the 18 did, basically. <laughs> Freya starts getting a feeling. The instincts of, of travel and the desert and maybe from your past, this is the right direction. And as you move through, um, moving like a fog over a field at night, dust clouds start creeping in. Not, not tall, but enough to start obscuring your view. Um, and as you move through deeper, it gets it gets darker and more obscured, and it's difficult to see where you're going. Uh, this, uh, with the fog here, the, with the dust, sorry here, you're not going to be able to see above it. You, you, for you to know exactly where you're going now, the, the, the clouds are obscured by the dust. Um, you can continue on and roll with this advantage, or you can try something else. Um, if we have time. I will take the compass. How f how long have we been walking into the storm? Probably a couple of hours. Okay, so we've gone quite a while. I'll be keeping an eye on. I know my compass will be spinning around, but mm -hmm. I just open it every so often to see if it's doing anything uh, different. If we have time, the closer you are, the more nuts it yeah. gets. If I have time, then I'll take out the compass, steal a piece of paper from someone, and I will use the compass to cast the map. Nice. And it's one chance not to. Um, anything within a thousand feet. Okay. And this casts it, it's like a slice at the same altitude you're currently at? Yeah, roughly around there. What do you cast it on? I steal a piece of paper from someone. 
I, I have have a, it, it's, 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 it's someone has a piece of paper. You can have oh. some of the confessions book. <laughs> of that, yeah. yeah, we're not using it. Okay, this is yeah. a shit confession. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm confused. This isn't juicy. On one of the empty, the unused pages, it still has the table on it, um, empty. And the ink swirls in the the glass orb of the compass, it turns darker and starts moving, and then it spills out in threads onto the paper and sketches out the terrain in the area. And very, very far onto the edge of this bit of paper, you can see a mark which looks like some sort of structure. It's probably about a mile away. Structure equals furniture. Not too far. And it uh, is. I, um, show, I hold out the map and show them. Um, the map will stay there for an hour. Cool. Nice. And it's um, directly southwest of you, and it is in the same direction as the compass is pointing whenever it's not going completely nuts. So you, but you still can't see where you're going. So at the moment, I'm still gonna. Even though you know the direction you need to travel, I'm still gonna. Uh, do you guys have a normal compass? Does anyone have a normal compass with them? I think Eskiel probably does because he had a map and. You would assume. I think he does. I'm I have not... a water skin. I'm pretty sure Eskiel has a compass. So if if you guys. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I do. We I have some cards. <laughs> if you guys use the compass and the map together, I'll let you roll it a straight roll for survival. Thanks. Yep. Yes, we will do that. Okay, so two of you, or Aura, with someone helping, because he's got his map. I can yeah. help. I have a plus one, I'm not... I've got not. a plus three. Mine's plus three as well. Yeah, no, two. Better, but minus yeah. one, so... Um, yeah, yeah. I've been running those. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. You got this. Who has, who, who, what passive perceptions are everyone? I don't know why I'll bother asking. Thirteen. Okay. Right, eleven. Eleven. Nine. Nine. Is yours like twenty-two? Uh, 21. 74, 21. actually. Okay. Uh, come on. 21. And what did you get for the survival? Both Nine. of you guys? 12. It was... Okay. okay. What? You move... It's very difficult to move through this dust. You move for an hour, uh, and the dust clears, and you're no closer when you look up. But a couple of things happen. One thing that only Freya notices is that there is another husk following you um, and it was moving quite silently lumbering through it's not corrupted when you see it it's just another one that seems to follow you like it did with the unit um, and the other thing is that the, the, the clouds above you are stirring now <laughs> okay nothing that can move dust. Nothing immediately happens, but as you, you, you've moved through now, so uh, with, with your survival in the hour, the, the map fades, but you're through the dust. Mm. And we know, still know the direction that we were going. I can only see if my compass is still moving just as quick. Because it's going more crazy now. Then I say, yeah, I believe we're still on course. Yeah. Okay. You need one more success, guys. So... Do we want to give just give all our Steve advantage? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I noticed the clouds moving, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I, d- I direct his, I don't know. <laughs> I help you. <laughs> you guys, okay, I hold right. the map steady. <laughs> no, the map, gone. The gone. You, you oh, moved, God. You just hold like his paper. <laughs> <laughs> With your survival, you moved through it. the dust, but you didn't make enough progress to make yeah, it. Yeah, we could have traced it. Oh, we well, didn't know. Well, 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 but we still know the rough direction we're going in. Oh, no. 13. Uh, do I roll, I roll a 9? I, I rolled a 9 in the five. Yeah, roll advantage. Oh, okay. okay, no, yeah, you, you, you move through, you think that you're getting closer, um, but the progress is so slow. Fuck. Where's we're going to die. TPK. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, yeah, what are you going to do, guys? This is, the clouds are getting... They're roiling above you. You're in the really a sparse area now. There's not much cover. You're still moving southwest, it's, and from memory, that's the correct direction. It's just that you're struggling to find a landmark. You're struggling to, to pick out the correct route. There's no use in stopping. A storm's not going to pass, is it? 
What can we do? Um, there are rocks around you that there there are tall, thin rocks. They're sparse, so there are no cliffs, but there are these tree trunk like rocks. Right. Well, I have a little shelter. I'm I can make, make a hole shelter. in one of them for us to get in. I'm shelter. gonna try and do any of them look like you can climb them? Mm-hmm. Um, sure. I'm going to try and climb one and see if we can get a bird's eye view of this shit. Go for it. Um, roll an athletics check, I guess. Can I do acrobatics instead? Sure. Do a flip. <laughs> <laughs> 17 plus 2, 19. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you climb uh, and everyone, I mean, everyone sort of wordlessly knows exactly what you're doing. It's like, okay, let's try this. And you hand over hand and you're you're acrobatically hopping from little crag to crag and moving up sometimes it's like a literally uh, a vertical crack and you will wedge your hand inside and then move up and grab the next one and eventually you make it to a, a sort of flat platform uh, roll a perception check with advantage okay can you guide me am I too far away <laughs> I can't reach your nose I can't I can't boop you <laughs> Am I close enough? How close does guidance? If someone gives me like a boost, I can break <laughs> <laughs> no, You can get do, on my shoulders too. Uh, Cheerly the style. I'm gonna shit myself. It's only plus one. Oh, that's a 19. Very nice. So it was nearly a 20. <laughs> you take a breath and you wipe some of the dust and the sweat from your eyes and you blink and you can see here the, a glistening in some of the rocks under your feet as well is the first thing you notice nodules of the otherworldly glass that you've seen in both the first corru- first uh, tomb of the corrupted hus with that glass chapel and then the nunlachium as you cast your eyes up you immediately see underneath a, a large sort of um, dome in the clouds a shining sphere of rock on a dune and it looks ex- exactly like the one in the painting you don't see an archway but you see a spherical rock uh, how so i see the spherical rock mm-hmm. what else was in that how else was that picture are we on the archway is the archway broken and we're on it it was in the painting the 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 archway was in the middle and it and the rock was to its right on the sort of the closest dune that sloped up and at the top, half hidden by the slope, was this large outcrop of sphere, a spherical like stone. So compared to like that image and where the where it is now, can I kind of work out where the there is there is a cliff, there is a large chunk of rock just past the sphere that could be a place that the, the, the archway is, it, you know, it's sort of in the rock possibly. You don't see a glass archway, but you do see this big stone sphere and and a large bit of rock with a dune coming out the back of it, half obscuring the sphere. It's very similar from a different angle. It's almost like if you're looking directly at the mm-hmm. painting, you're seeing the sphere from off far to the side somewhere. Um, I'm going to orientate myself so that I like, I'll be, and I'll I'll get my rapier out as well so you can see it a bit better so you can see how I'm pointing I'll be like I think it's that way so I'll get be like position yourself yeah sure okay um, we make your way down you convey all of that information and whoever is going to roll uh, roll with advantage a survival check please can we not just like we have the compass can we not just take a bearing one direction so you know exactly what direction to go you can do yeah, yeah are you going to do that we've got a normal compass yeah yeah okay so that will still be a survival check though on the compass but the DC is lower I can do it who's doing it because it's just a skill isn't it who's doing it someone mm. I can already do it yeah sure you're hiding plus three as well I think. Uh, yeah I'll do it then oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking I'm like damn I know compasses <laughs> <laughs> Advantage, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys don't have a map, though, so... You guide yourself. That. I do guide myself. <laughs> where's your point? Where's your... Oh, oh no. wait, I didn't... Oh. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get that one. We're rolling like fuck! <laughs> the DC's lower for the compass check. Well, it's well, a... <laughs> Okay. I shouldn't have done that. That low? <laughs> yeah. You I got, think oh, did you get what I think you just got? You think I you got a bearing? 
How cool! Did you roll with advantage? Yeah. Oh, I got wow. three and a seven. Shit. You wrote. You you Wait, think you've and got, you got a an eight? I had one on my guidance. Yeah, and then you yeah, plus but, and your plus plus your oh, yeah. Duh. Um, so eleven. Eleven. Oh, the easy was ten. Oh, oh my god! god. Right. Okay. Oof, you you successfully <laughs> 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 a bearing, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you guys. You. Move, you move in that direction. That was that was uh, a good use of your equipment. It's a good use. You of move in the direction that the bearing was set. It's a good use of. Okay. <laughs> um, and you emerge out into a clearing. Hmm? Um. A hundred feet ahead of you is you, you, you. So you move through into this clearing, and up to the to the right, you see this large spherical outcrop. It's lighter coloured beige than the rest of the rocks that you've seen. And ahead of it, uh, la- rising is one large cliff, hidden in the shade of two others, of two leading columns either side. You see the edge of a glassy archway. It's about 120 feet from you, um, and before it is a stone circle, a skeletal tree that glows white, and with inconsistent flashes, the tree seems to light the inside of the nooks and the crannies that you can see from this side of the archway. Um, As you guys emerge into this clearing, the sky above you is very angry. and lightning begins striking. Okay, it doesn't strike near you, but in the distance, a lick of this lightning reaches down and touches the ground and it it retracts back up. We better run. What are you doing? We better run to the archway. Yeah, let's just go yeet. And okay. I like, look for a moment at the tree and the archway and the thing, and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's identical to your to your memory. In fact, the archway looks it looks different to the to the painting as you guys run across this clearing and you get a better view of it. The front's sh- almost shattered and parts of it have been filled in with veins of white, like quartz. Um, you, you're running across. The, what are you guys doing? Tell me exactly what you're doing. Putting one foot in front of the other like quite quickly, so running. Nice. I think... <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> Arms are doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I think keeping I think keeping an eye out for more lightning and trying to get to the... We should... Should, should we stay in a group? Yeah. Like, How big... When it hit the ground, was it a big... Like a big area of effect? Not like to meter it, but like, was there a big area that seemed to be like? As it comes, as it came down, it's slower it than like normal sh- lightning. So it comes down and it branches and it hits in a very strange splay. Mm. So it could it, affect more than a single do point. Do keep an eye on the the clouds and try and predict where it, yeah. where it's, where it's going to hit. Okay, how are you? Know what skill are you going to use to do that? Perception. Okay, roll <laughs> or perception maybe check. If everyone's ready to go and you're like yeah. hold. You're rolling, you're going to look and see the clouds when you think is the best time to go. I'll, I'll help you with I that. Yeah. I have okay. an idea. Eugene, I don't know how well this is going to work. This would work. Well, do you guys want to do this or...? Uh, oh, yeah. Or that listen was to one thing. Is it sand that we're on still? Yes. If I were to continuously mould earth and just scoop a five foot channel ahead of us so that we're below, pretty much below ground level, I don't, so, but it'll still hit us. Though. You, you would also know that, that the sand that you scooped out from when you did it with the Kazel, it immediately filled in. So even though it was underneath it, it fell in and then the sand filled in a bit. Okay. Uh, you also only be able to move lowest. five foot Sorry. every six seconds. But so. it would still hit us, it's not cut, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's just going over the top of my What are you guys doing? Um, we're going to look yeah. for, look at the sky and see what's going on and see if there's cool. a, a, a And clear Eugene path. said you would help. Yeah, I'll help. Okay. Do I do two then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, okay. And your guidance as well. Yeah. 21. Nice. Okay. You you hold everyone back and it's silent, strange looking up at the clouds and this storm in the quiet. And you wait and you wait and you, you think we should just go, but you just, your instincts say wait a bit longer. And then one of the small flashes inside brightens and a a streak of thunder 
uh, of the lightning crashes down ahead of you, the other side of the archway, but it smashes into the ground. You all feel it in your chest, and immediately when that hits, you're like, go. Mm -hmm. And you run across the dune. 120 feet, it seems like it's taking forever. But it's not, because we're really good at running. It's two rounds. It's 12 seconds. Okay. You guys make... 10 feet of... You guys, are you running... What are you doing? You're running... At this point, you run past this white tree made of glass. It's glowing and lighting the front of the archway. You've got about 60 feet until you get into the archway. Is the archway... Is there a covering of the archway? As in, could we stand underneath, like, at least underneath the archway so that we're protected from the storm. You can go inside. Yeah. So it's, it's, the archway itself is 50 feet high, and then around it, the building goes a bit higher, like the Lark de Triomphe style. Okay. Uh, so you could go in. Because I think if we at least get in, yeah. then we can look and work out what we want to yeah. do, but at least we're not going to get hit by the storm. So you're running in? Yes. Yeah. Okay, last roll on the front, last roll on the lightning. I'm dead. I'm covered in metal, so... <laughs> <laughs> We're fucked. Okay. I'm holding my rapier up in the air. <laughs> you guys run inside. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who Who, what's your running order? Oh, no. Much? I'm probably at the front. Yeah? I'm, I'm probably towards the front. Or so. Who's at the back? Well, I was helping you, yeah. so I suppose I would be I would probably you. be at the back to make sure everyone had gotten past. I guess there's no one else for me by the back. So. Well, no, you'd yeah. probably be a bit further ahead of me. I would have been like, in case anyone falls, just escaping. Okay. Fish. Whoever is at the back, roll a dexterity saving yeah, throw. I thought we might be that. Yeah. Where's Cade and Nisqeel, to keep you honest? Good point. Right at the oh, very, yeah. very back. Uh, He's so far yeah. back. Where do you guys want them to be? The you back. can say the back, as I didn't say, so it's up to you. Um... It would probably be Cade and then a skill right behind him, making sure he's still coming. Right? Yeah. The skills at the back. But no, I would have been They're behind really. them okay. to make sure that That's they, good it's me. Okay. I was probably around That's the back cut. as well. That's still <laughs> middle of the table. Fourteen plus two, sixteen. Okay. Oh my dad. Freya yells like hurry up kind of thing <laughs> and you go, go. you just you f see the light on the glass ahead of just in front of you before you know anything's happening and you immediately just jump just dive into the archway and you take half damage <sighs> Oh wrong shit, no, dice. no, no, that's the wrong dice. That is the wrong dice. <laughs> <laughs> that's wrong, D20. He takes damage. seven points of. Uh, butt hurt damage. Of butt hurt damage. <laughs> seven. Seven points so of, thund seven? 14. of thunder damage. I would have been down if I'd have taken that. Yeah, God, yeah. Um, it's like you, for a moment, you black out, and then Straight up. You, you open your eyes, and it's just burning, and your head is aching, and you're laying on the floor of this archway, and uh, the sound's echoing out, um, and you guys are under under this archway. Um, I who, any lingering wounds? Any lingering wounds? Well, then you've got a lingering wound table over No, there. you have to go unconscious for that. Okay. For it even to start, yeah. Okay, and... Just, just check it. Not just pass out. But. No. Uh, to what, honey? Oh, God. Where is my D6? Well, there's, there's two more of us. Eight. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I'm doing you guys. Uh. Oh, Okay, you guys make it in and, I guess, gather around Sentinel and for a moment it's like, we made it. You take a breath. And then... Um, a hand grabs a Maya. <gasps> um, and as you turn around to face it, you see a husk. It looks docile, and it's like right up in your face. It's skin tight over cheekbones, and its eyes, where there were once eyes, flash amber in the darkness. Its mouth opens <gasps> like this. And from this dry flesh, a voice echoes, tinny and distorted, like it's bounced a what mile. Tinny. Down the <laughs> no, she doesn't talk. And it says, "Why are you here? Are you one of his hunters? There's nothing here for you. Leave." 
Uh, we're not the hun- I don't know who the hunters are. Leave! And then the mouth shuts, the eyes go dark, and it lets you go, and it turns and walks into the archway. And that's what we pick up next time. Oh my god. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.